hi guys welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this session we'll be dealing with how to apply lightning effect to any widget in flutter okay and you could see on the right output screen i have just made use of two kinds of lightning effects specifically so here in this login container i have made use of box shadow effect to have this shadow or this lightning around this container okay and similarly this text widget which is the second widget i have made use of neon package dependency okay so we will be making use of two kinds of lightning effect one is a box shadow effect which we will be dealing manually and for this text widget we will be making use of a package okay and this neon dependency is specifically used for applying some kind of neon like effect over any text widget in flutter okay now let's get started with the coding part first we should need to add this neon dependency over the path spec and after adding that in the main dot dot file i'll be just navigating to the home page and in this dot file is what we will be developing the output what we have discussed in the previous part okay now let's get started with the creation of simple stuffs let me create a boolean variable this is just to have or keep track of whether the button is pressed or not okay that login button what you have seen before okay and inside the scaffold let me provide the background color as colors dot black okay why i am giving it is a black color is that so then we will be having or we could easily visualize the box shadow effect as well as the neon lightning effect okay if you have a white background it will be somewhat hard to distinguish between the shadow effect and lightning effect okay so that i am giving box black color and followed by which we will be developing the body part and let me provide the padding as well first using i just want edge inserts start symmetrical and horizontal with 50 pixels and followed by which we will be having a child for the padding which is the column widget okay and this column widget let me provide the main axis element as center and this column will be taking the children widget which are as first is the container and let me wrap that container inside the gesture detector so that we can keep track of on tap event okay and inside this on tap event i'll be just setting the state that is i'll be just toggling the on press boolean value from true to false and false to true whenever an on tap event has been triggered okay and after that on tap event let me let us provide a child for that gesture director which is the container and this container is what we will be developing that login button or whatever so it's not a, actually a button which is a container where we have been using gesture data to have or keep track of the on press event and this container will be taking a width which is approximately or uh, not i will be providing double that infinity the maximum width whatever it would take but we have specified the parent constraint as horizontal padding symmetry gets horizontal so it won't be moving uh, stretching entirely around the left and right borders so it will be having some 50 pixel gaps on both left and right side so we just no need to worry about that and after specifying the width let me also provide the height for the container which would be 60 would be good and followed by the decoration so this decoration is what the box that will be coming into light okay let me provide box decoration and provide box shadow parameter which takes let me have a simple condition whether it is pressed a ternary operator for checking that using the box shadow or its box 
box shadow followed by this box shadow will be taking the parameter which is the color so let me give the colors dot blue and with an alpha value of 225 and here i am setting that alpha value as some kind of fixed one you can have any slider or something to keep track of that variable so instead of hard coding it as some kind of this value you can have it based on another widget what you have developed okay so for now let me just provide it as a fixed value and another parameter it takes is a blur radius let me set it as 45 and another parameter is the spread radius which i will be giving it as 15 and followed by the offset here it takes offset of followed by 0 comma 0 okay followed by where is there okay and here okay if it is pressed this would be happening or if it is not so that is if it is an odd count in press then i will be applying any shadow effect so let me give it a same t for now okay and followed by this we'll be having the gradient coloring for that container okay let me provide that as well using the gradient which is I will be using linear gradient for now followed by this linear gradient will be taking the colors and the colors are as colors okay let me provide the value which is FFF followed by 1 0 0 and another color value which is again uh, value which I will be providing as FF25 and 08F okay now after providing this we just need to specify the begin and the end for that color and let me provide as alignment this way which is uh, diamond dot center right and where it should end is that it is again alignment dot center left okay now uh, after specifying this let us just check out how it looks okay and uh, it's kind of having circles okay sharp edges so let me get rid of that now for that we just need to provide it uh, with border radius okay let me provide the border radius at circular and set the values as 15 now I think it would be some kind of curve like at the borders good okay now for this container let me specify the child which is the text widget that is the login okay and if you want you could specify the style using the text style method okay inside which i will be specifying the color as colors dot white so that it would be easily visible in that gradient background okay and it is set the font size as 30 okay now yes it works fine so whenever i have a non tap event it would be having some blur effect that is a box header effect and if i again tap on that it would be having no box effect okay 
that condition we have checked over here okay now this is just got completed and that is just a few spacing before creating another widget let me provide height as 145 okay now let's start building that developing that neon lighting effect for the text widget okay this you have this neon method wherein which takes the text parameter let me provide us some kind of text as vj creations and it also takes the color value which is colors dot blue let me provide and followed by the font size let me set it as 35 followed by the font that is a font family which is neon font dot provide it as okay followed by flickering text i just want that text to flicker and it let me set it as true and it also takes flickering letters let me provide it as null followed by the glow duration let me set it as new duration and in terms of seconds as one okay so we could see this text is what we'll be getting over here and this coloring is what so if i give it as some kind of red then you'll be having a flickering effect as a red color okay predominantly followed by font size itself explanatory and font family so this neon itself has some kind of fonts which are cool fonts you could say see here cyberpunk okay and you can make use of any font you like as you wish and all of them are very cool so let me stick on to this one which i like the most okay and flickering text is true so i just want the text to flicker and i am setting that boolean is true and also setting the flickering that is a glowing duration value in terms of seconds i am setting for one second okay and this flickering letter is that you can provide any custom i just want the uh, wording set position 0 and 1 that is the index 0 and 1 to just flicker in that case you can specify the index number of that wording alone so now you could see here that v and i that is the index 0 and 1 is getting triggered and it is just flickering okay and if i set it as 5 you could see v i and this c so the index starts with 0 and the fifth letter is actually c so you could see these three wordings and the three letters is alone getting flickered if you want the entire sentence of the wording to trigger a flicker you just need to provide it as null okay now you could see the entire wording gets flickered okay and that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye